Hey there pretty people and welcome back to Such Pretty. Today I have another sort of ramble review. I suck at giving reviews but I'm gonna go ahead and try to give you guys my opinions on the Wet n Wild vegan brushes. So without keeping you guys waiting any longer, let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, just jumping right in. The new brushes range from about $0.99 cents to $2.99, so they're relatively cheap. They can be found at either Walgreens, Target, or CVS and wetandwildbeauty.com. But as I mentioned, they are fairly cheap and they are aesthetically extremely beautiful. And I bought these a while ago. I went ahead and splurged and bought quite a few of them actually because you know, 99 cents, if it's bad, then you're not really out on that much money. So like I said, I went ahead and splurged and I bought a few and so I took a couple of weeks to create several looks with them. I even used them in a couple of tutorials, maybe you noticed them a little bit. Um, they have, you know, a pink tip, this one's dirty because I used it not too long ago. And out of the brushes that they have available, they have a range of face brushes, foundation stipple brushes, foundation buffer brushes powder brushes, contour brushes, eyeshadow brushes, and eyeliner brushes. A little bit of everything for everybody depending on the brush that you're looking for. So what I had purchased was several eyeliner brushes. Um, I got the angle brush and the, where is it? The uh, angled, angled eyeliner brush. I'm not sure the name of this one. I got several of the eyeshadow brushes and I got the, reaching for it, uh, contour brush. It's dirty right now. I need to clean it. Um, but I, there's a smudger brush in there. There's a fluff, there's fluffy brushes in there. So the fluffy eyeshadow brush and the paddle eyeshadow brush. Those are the ones that I had picked up. Out of all of them that I've tried, that I've been working around with, playing with, I actually really, really like all of them except for, where are they? The fluffy brushes. So I'm going to go over the cons first of these brushes and then I'm going to go over the pros. And the cons are mostly in the fluffy crease shadow blending brushes. They're super, super soft, but after cleaning them, they got kind of like not stiff, but they lost their softness. If you guys could see my brush collection, you would know that I have a ton of, I should put these down. I have a ton of blending crease brushes because I absolutely love them. Blending brushes, crease brushes, whatever the hell you want to call them. I like to call them blending brushes. They blend. That's that's their intended purpose. They're supposed to blend out your makeup. These, it doesn't blend. It doesn't blend at all. It, like, what is the word? It, like, it, bleh, bleh, bleh. <laughs> It makes your makeup really splotchy. It doesn't have a seamless blend. It doesn't, you know, and sometimes your products depend on the artist and the artist depends on the products. For example, if you have a really cheap eyeshadow that doesn't really perform quite well, sometimes the brush and the artist can make that eyeshadow perform well. That blending brush, these, these blending brushes, no, no, they don't work. I. I don't think of myself as like a super, super talented person. Like as far as makeup, I still have a long ways to go, but I feel like I know how to work a blending brush. And those things just leave my makeup splotchy. They leave the, it doesn't, it doesn't work. Like I tried using, I tried like the gradient transition color method. I tried it on its own. I tried it on the back of my hand. You know, I tried it, you know, I just, I tried it and it didn't work and so the blending brush no cut it out don't 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 get the blending brush honestly I I mean if you want to it's only 99 cents you can try it and maybe your experience with the blending brush would be a lot better but it just left my makeup splotchy it didn't blend it didn't blend my makeup the way that I wanted a blending brush to blend my makeup that blending brush is just put that soul to rest because it is not good. <laughs> That's the cons. That's the cons for the brushes. <laughs> the pros, onto the good part, is the rest of the brushes. The rest of the brushes perform really, really well. Um, particularly the eyeshadow brushes, 
they clean really well. After I cleaned them, they didn't feel as stiff as the blending brush. They pick up the product really well. They are able to blend. You can see mine's a little frayed here uh, and it's dirty because I was using it. And what I like about these is they have this little thumbprint here, a little dent for your fingers. Um, I don't typically hold my brushes that far down because I am blind. I'm actually doing this review without my glasses on. I should probably just put them on because my contacts weren't working. But anyways, anyways, some people, you know, depending on where you hold your brush, I usually hold mine really close or you can hold yours really far away. And you know, it's all about control and working with your eyeshadows, but this is a nice little medium place. And it just, you know, kind of keeps the brush in your hand and it's pretty and it's nice to look at and the pink is cute and even the concealer, not the concealer, what am I saying? The contour brush does really well. Like I use the edges here and it's still really soft after cleaning, especially the eyeliner brushes. I absolutely love them. They're, they're not, so, they're not really big angled brushes to the point where it's so big and you're trying to like work and like tilt your hands and do all this kind of stuff they just they fit they work in your hand they fit in your hand they're super super light and the biggest pro of them all that everybody is raving about is that they are vegan these are vegan brushes and they are made with synthetic hairs so you are saving some friendly cuddly little animals when you buy these brushes as far as my ramble review goes cons is that blending brush pros the rest of the brushes are good. They're pretty to look at. The rest of the brushes pick up product. And if you're on a super tight budget or you're just getting into makeup and you're trying to learn the ins and outs of makeup, I definitely recommend picking up these brushes and giving them a shot. Just don't pick up that blending brush unless you really want to, unless you want to splurge on your dollar. <laughs> All that being said, you guys, I really hope you guys like what you saw here today. I hope you found some valuable information or learn something new about these brushes. Let me know in the comments below if you are thinking of picking up these brushes or if you've already picked up these brushes or if you've had any luck with that blending brush. Not me, no blending brush for me. <laughs> Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. I would love to have you here for future videos. And until next time guys, I'll see ya. I wish they had purple version. I am a purple girl. <laughs>